All right. So learning about atoms, isotopes, and ions can actually be a lot of fun thanks to this uh, free online game that I'll link through Canvas uh, through this FET simulations. They've got a whole bunch of different simulations, not just for chemistry, but uh, for physics as well. So if you like this, feel free to check it out. I'm just going to do kind of one of these problems. Um, so we'll go ahead and go over to the game. That's the funnest part. Click on that. And then you can see that they have four different games. Uh, let's go ahead and play this question mark one. So you can see what it wants us to do here is build up our hydrogen. Uh, so if we think about what the bottom left number means, that's the number of protons that we have. So we have one proton. If we think about the, what the top left number means, that number two, that's the number of protons and neutrons. So right now we're at one, we need to get to two. So we're gonna add a neutron. And then if we think about what the uh, top right number means, that's the overall charge. Remember, protons are positive, electrons are negative. So uh, right now we're at positive one because we have one proton and no electrons. So we'll go ahead and add an electron. So now we're at zero, right? Because we've got the proton and electron canceling each other out. So let's go ahead and add another electron. Now we should be at negative one because we've got two electrons and one proton. And then we'll go ahead and just click this check button, right? And we get this big old smiley face that uh, tells us that we're right. And you can go ahead and go on to the next problem, right? Let's just do one more together. Um, sodium, remember bottom left number, that is the number of protons. So that should be 11. Whoops. Top left number is 23, that's protons plus neutrons. So if we have 11 protons, that means that we have to have 12 neutrons in order for them to add up to 23. And then top right number is the overall charge. Sometimes that's not there if it's zero. Um, so in this case, you could have a zero there or you could just have not any number there. So that means that we have no overall charge. That doesn't mean that we don't have any electrons. That means that we have the same number of electrons as we do protons. That way, their charges cancel one another out. So since we have 11 protons, we should also have 11 electrons. And we got it right. So uh, if you just play all three of these games, get five stars in each of them, boom, you've mastered this section.